Someone is now going to prison. Political prisoners are killing themselves. I'm giving an interview. He asked a normal, reasonable question. Yeah. You didn't like what I a fellow. You, you didn't like what a fellow Christian said. So you had the nerve you're saying you're, to you're interrupt saying you're me Christian. in that rude, horrible manner. You are manner. saying you are Christian. Why you would are, you, you ever are behave like that? Thank you. Here with Nick Tinconi, leader of the UKIP. Party. Um, Nick, I've just come out of the courtroom here where they've sentenced Tommy Robinson to 18 months for refusing to hide the truth from the public. What do you think about that? So my understanding is is that I've seen the documentary. Mm -hmm. My understanding is is that uh, he, he said to the world, he said, I'm going to show you what I've learned and what I've, what I've uncovered. And uh, here we are now joined with a bunch of patriots who are saying, actually, we stand in solidarity um, against the politicization of our judiciary and of our two-tier system under a tyrannical Labour government. So knowing, knowing Tommy, he's gone in and he's done what he's done. Mm -hmm. And uh, what, what, what can we say? Uh, the, our judiciary is politicised and is compromised by a far-left government. And he's gone in there and he's, and he's done what he's had to do. So he's got a load of support out here from patriots. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I, I saw you this weekend at the, the United Kingdom demonstration uh, in Parliament Square. You told me then you support Tommy because he's a patriot. Why, why do you support Tommy Robinson? Yeah, he's a patriot. U UKIP isn't going to turn its back on any patriots, mm -hmm. regardless of, uh, of, of who they are, especially if they haven't done anything wrong, especially if they are ordinary, hardworking people. We're not going to turn our back, unlike other parties like Reform, who want to pander to legacy media mm -hmm. and, the main, and, um, and the establishment. Uh, we won't be doing that. We're with a party of patriots who are standing up for truth, justice and righteousness. Now, I can't speak on the details of the court case, and it is a complicated case. It's been going on for some years now. Mm -hmm. But the reality is, is that we won't be silenced by far left tyranny mm -hmm. or the globalist agenda. We will say it as it is. So that's why everyone's here today. Mm -hmm. We saw this weekend, uh, Richard Tice came out and said that basically he didn't want to be associated with Tommy Robinson and his lot. Um, we've seen some other derogatory comments from Nigel Farage about Tommy. We even saw Nigel accuse Tommy of inciting the recent violence when there was no evidence for that. Mm -hmm. What separates you from people like Nigel and, and Tice where you come out here and support Tommy Robinson and, and they do not. Well, I suppose two things really. One is, is that I'm not in this for money. And two, I don't come from big business, big money. So listen, if Nigel and Tice want to run a party called Reform that is essentially pandering to far left, hope not hate, and the, and the, and the communist uh, pressure that they, the pressure points that they apply and, uh, and get in with corporatism and big business, we've already got three or four main parties that do that. Let them, people are going to see through that. If they want to do that, that's absolutely fine. They, we have different policies. They're not as radical as we are. So I what I have to say to how they're behaving and how they're acting when they throw Tommy and Patriots under the bus to talk about Tommy in a certain way like any one individual that's one thing but then to associate an entire patriotic movement mm -hmm. with genuine concerns about the way that our country's headed that's that's uh, it's crazy but it's great news for me yeah. so stand aside guys and you know, let the men do the work because that's what's going to happen we're going to take our country back yeah, I think I think Farage and Tice and the reform are losing the support that they had gained from from what we're seeing online. People commenting online, They've, they're starting to lose a lot of a lot of report and um, a lot of uh, support. And maybe people are going to lean toward you guys. So, what are you going to do as UKIP leader, and what is UKIP going to do to gen up more support for the UKIP party? Yeah, so I think that it's tactical for reform. They've been um, mulling over it. For Reform's nothing new. They've had five years to prepare for the election this year. That was born out of four years um, plus with Brexit and then, of course, Nigel's with UKIP. So they've had loads of time to prepare for this. And what they've done is at some point they've muddled their way through and they've decided whatever happens, double down and totally disassociate yourself from anything on the right of politics. So that was all premeditated. But they took, they took an awful lot of time over doing it, so that's quite telling. In terms of what we're going to do at UKIP and what I'm going to do is lead from the front. What we need is clear, courageous and brave dialogue. That's what we need. We need rhetoric that tells people what they want to hear, the truth. That's, it's about fearless leadership. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be travelling around the country, and you'll hear all this all the time, that Starmer won with 9 million votes, and in Britain you only need something like 10 million votes to win or whatever. We're going to take it to the people, we're going to say it as it is, and if we get a round of applause at the end of it, we're going to presume that there's, a, uh, there's an actual vote in it for us. So that means going to the pubs, going to the community centres, going to the churches, speaking to people, inspiring and motivating them, that they can actually make a difference the 40 percent that don't vote you do have hope and we can take our country back mm -hmm. one of the major problems you're having we're having the same problem in america we're having problems with uh, censorship of free speech and the flood of immigration to our country you guys it's affecting you a lot more because of your of your population and you're not able to withstand it as long as we are in america 
What do you think you'll be able to do as UKIP leader if you get into Parliament? What can you do to, to, to stop the flood of legal immigrants in your country and to make sure that every citizen has the right to speak their minds? Sure. So in terms of what needs to be done, there's a forecast. The numbers are always being fudged and they're always new, the ones that are coming out. But there's a, essentially about five million people who shouldn't be here. Call it what you want. Islamist, um, unintegrated communities, uh, migrants who are to, here to colonize, those who refuse to assimilate. And then, of course, you've got your illegal invaders as well. Mm -hmm. So we don't actually know what the numbers look like. But let's say at the moment it's a forecasted five million. Mm -hmm. So these people need to be detained and deported. Now, of course, there's a, a model which says that you pay them to leave. Well, that's that, that, that's quite humane. A detainee process with a, with a, with a deportation process would not be as pleasant. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure precisely which one is required, but it is in our manifesto that that is exactly what we're going to seek to do. And uh, yes, it is achievable and you can do it. In terms of silencing and censorship, the far left mafia that have taken over our universities, which is how it starts mm -hmm. uh, with the woke madness. It's the soft liberal woke madness that leads to the to the nasty satanic communism bits and pieces, radical trans lobby, etc. Mm -hmm. If you're anything centre right or anything right of centre, you'll be silenced and you'll be told to shut up mm -hmm. with fear and propaganda tactics. There needs to be a complete overhaul of who is having access to our children, to our students, college students and our university students. Anyone who's affiliated with a far left organisation Marxist or communist organization were not allowed to be anywhere near teaching roles in children. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be a long, long phased approach, approach. But the reality is we've got to go right back to basics with regards to who's getting near to people uh, who are in a position of education. Because that's where silencing and cancel culture come from. It's the Stalinist government that we're seeing happen appear in, in Britain right now. And uh, the fear and propaganda tactics that are used to prop that, mm -hmm. that evil mantra up. You've, uh, you've built yourself as a Christian conservative candidate. What do Christians need to, to, to do to come out and make sure their, their culture stays around uh, and is not, and is not um, degraded and is not diluted? Best question. So uh, we weren't taught to be meek and mild. That was one part of it. It's time for flipping tables. It's time to get back into the paris parishes. It's time to get back into the churches. It's time to recognise. It's, it's time to recognise. Are you advocating violence? It's time to recognise. Are you advocating violence? Oh, are I know you. you. Are you I know you. Someone, get rid, Someone get rid of him. Don't push me. Someone get rid of him. Guys, can you get rid of him? You push me. No, I'm. Get rid of him. I've got free speech. I'll answer that. That's not. I know he is. I know he is. I know. I know. I know. I know he is. We need to get back into the churches. We need to get back into the parishes. We are no longer meek and mild. It is time for flipping tables. And you know what? It is time to recognise the fact that we have severed our relationship with God by turning our back on God. That is a product of liberalism, and it didn't end today. It doesn't end tomorrow. It is, it is over, you it is done. We, we now have to uh, acknowledge to exactly how far we have fallen from grace and, and we need to make that right with the one with the one true God. Absolutely. God bless you, Nick, to call me. Good luck to you, brother. Take care. I know you. I know you. You know, you. you know me. No, we know each other. Yes, we know each other. We have I'm just asking you a question. No, that's it, are you seeking some I'm, I'm doing a normal, No, I'm doing a normal interview with a normal human being. So it's okay we, to swear we, at me. We know each other. This is exactly well, what we're go all that here far. for. So I wouldn't go like that far. Why would you, you ever behave done? like that? Well, I don't know why someone's stuff the stuff you are saying. Why would you, why would you ever behave like that? Have you ever tried to You're a grown man. Starmer wouldn't let you do it. You are a grown man. Why would you ever, ever behave like that? I'm not here for Starmer. Someone is now Someone is now going to prison. Someone is now going to prison. Political prisoners are killing themselves. I'm giving an interview. He asked a normal, reasonable question. Yeah. You didn't like what I a fellow. You, you didn't like what a fellow Christian said. So you had the nerve you're saying you're, to you're interrupt saying me you're in that rude, horrible you are manner. You're saying you are Christian. Why you are, would you, you ever are behave afraid like to that? actually? You are I'm afraid. Asking you, why would you, you behave are afraid like that? to discuss the issues why would you around your disciples like of Christ movement? Why would you? You are actually you, afraid you, to discuss You are here to heckle me over something unrelated to this. If you're a politician, you can get used to being heckled. I think. I think. No, but you've come here deliberately to do I that because here. you were removed from the you. WhatsApp group because you are a problem. Oh, really? You were removed from the Why WhatsApp group because you are a problem. Because I'm just preaching no, the truth. No, because you are obtuse, you, you are obnoxious, and you are totally divisive. I'm so sorry. I'm not sorry. About this You're so sorry. I know this individual. So what? You don't want to. You, you don't want to talk about your fake Christian nationalism. You are talking about a fake Christian nationalism. Now you've it's now you've exposed yourself. I haven't exposed myself. I'm actually talking about. I'm actually talking about.